Hey guys, so today we're going to do another acrylic pouring technique. We're not going to do swipe today. We're going to put all colors in different cups, all the colors you need, including black and white in two separate cups, all the colors in different cups, and then you pour all those colors into one cup. You don't need black for this, but you'll need white for background. You're a little sporadic and all that, but you don't need black. You can get it if you want. You put silicon oil and glue in each one. 80% color, 20% glue, and then a few drops of silicon oil. And then after that, once all your colors are prepared in, def in different cups, the reason you need them in the different cups, let me just tell you this, because if you, um, I've tried it before, if you put all the color, if you just put all the colors and then put silicon oil, glue, and then mix it, then it'll turn brown. not good brown. <laughs> Just plain brown. You don't want that. Mm -hmm. So you need to prepare them in different cups, pour them all into your one big cup. You'll need a big cup. And then once you're done with that, you mix the Wait, you don't need to mix the big cup, sorry. Wait, and so then you just pour it, and then it's supposed to sp spread on your white background. And then once all the color's done, then if you put a lot of silicon oil, there might even be cells in the cup. And so um, if you tilt it around, and I mean a whole bunch of silicon oil, if you tilt it around, It'll get to all four corners, and then it'll make a good result. So hopefully ours is also going to be a good result, just like everyone else's. Hey guys, now that you know all the instructions of what we're doing, let's get started. For some reason, this looks like and this isn't our giant cup, even though these all by itself look bigger. Either way, so since we didn't have a spare cup, we're going to just pour this regularly into the cup without silicone oil because all those have silicone oil. I think that's enough. Bit more, then we're going to be done. That's good. Now, let's get up to our blue metallic. I loved it the last painting we did, so I really wanted to use it again. And the red metallic painting, the last painting we did, didn't slow up so much, so I also wanted to use that. To pour it all. already looking nice. Okay, one second, let's get the red. Now, come on, pour more than last time. Oh, wow, that just floated up so fast. Wait one second. I guess that's enough. It looks like there's nothing. Maybe it's all just in one place. Hopefully that's the case. But now we're going to pour all this black. Same as last time. Okay, as much of the color, just slide it to the cup.
Okay. Now that we're done with that, we'll pull. I want to pull all of this. Speaking of which, we just made this random order of colors ourselves. So hopefully this will turn out better than it seems. Oh yeah, so we're going to pour a bit white, less than all the others, like... Yeah, that's good. Because we're going to pour all, all the rest on the background of the canvas. Okay, now that... We have a whole bunch of white still. We're going to kind of need this to get the rest of the white out once we're done with the amount we can pull. spreading all our white we're going to pour our what's the word we're called giant cup <laughs> whoa I love those colors but I love how it just spreads like that Take the palette knife off. <laughs> uh, I forgot to take the palette knife off. But it doesn't matter that much. It only took like a few drops of paint. It just looks like great. Okay. Oh, there's actually some colors left. Oh, for a second I thought there was going to be cells in the cup. The middle just looks so like bumpy. <laughs> just with that black and yellow. Okay. Looks like we can get a lot more, but if you have the feeling, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> okay. Let's start tilting. The one thing I don't. Oh. That's okay. Out. That actually looks nice right there. Oh, nice. I love that blue metallic once again. Oh, don't lose it, don't lose it. Okay, no, we're just going to tilt. We're going to tilt up the way. It's dripping so much. Oh my god. No, don't drip. Oh no, no. <laughs> Come on, this is impossible to spread without it tripping constantly. You know what, let's just not worry about the dripping. That's going to be hard. Okay, that side's done. I guess just one tiny corner. Whoa, that blue and yellow just got some cells. <laughs> Trying to sell. Oh, ow. That's okay. That's okay. Okay, that's good. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, oh, there's literally a painting below. <laughs> I'm going to die. Okay, this is a new. Move. Come on. Move. Before we have to deal with a whole bunch more drops. This just gives me the biggest nerves ever that we're going to spill a while. <laughs> this is the final messy painting. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Our painting, oh. Okay, our painting ended up being this. <laughs> <laughs> Those is, yeah, this is my new painting. <laughs> Are we actually going to make that as our painting? Okay, now let's go to our actual painting. I really like it. This is the actual beautiful. I really like it. Gosh. Okay, I'm sorry guys, we didn't show you flipping it. We never done that before, so we're just hoping that would turn out good. But look at the results. They those in the paper and this looks so similar. You can make two paintings like this. By different three paintings. By by like you dip the canvas onto your drops of colors or you can just dip it on your actual painting and then you flip it over you get two paintings free paintings actually if you do it on the drops that you miss that you spilled so even this is the painting just like a copy of this you can even touch them if your hands are messy like mine yeah, this would happen. But either way, let's dip it again. This time, let's show you. Hopefully, I can do it again. That was actually really lucky by the other time. Wait, should we? Oh, no, mind. It doesn't matter. Oh, my God. That just looks like there's a painting on my hand, too. That's actually looking good. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. They're cells. So. Cool. I. Honestly, let's keep that as a painting. Let's keep that as a painting. <laughs> Just like a copy of this. Or this a copy of that. Either way. Because they were made at the exact same time. But then there's that one painting that we're like paying no attention to. <laughs> Let's just show that one painting one more time. Wait. Okay. You can try this at home if you're messy like me. Well, now that you see it, you might want to be messy. Anyway, bye. Here's the end of the video.